Blimey, so first YouTube survey that I've actually been around to do. This, this feels like it should be a thing. Why are you called that? I asked my parents the other day, so why did you pick the name Megan? And they went... We just liked it. This wasn't my grandma's impression though. My grandma normally goes by the name Peggy. It turns out this is short for Margaret, and it also turns out that her middle name is Sarah. So when I named my sister Sarah, my grandmother was like, oh, you named the girls for me. What? Apparently Megan is the Welsh version of the English Margaret. So yeah, Margaret Sarah. Completely by accident, but there you go. Why am I called that? Because of my grandmother in her head. As for my username, the awkward moment when I have a vlog about that in production. Sorry, another time, okay? Tell us about your favourite school teacher. My maths teacher from years 10 to 13 was Miss Pritchard, who was brilliant for several reasons. A, she allowed me to do my maths GCSE in one year so I could go on and get an extra A level, which was probably instrumental in me getting a place at Oxford, so thank you Miss Pritchard. Also, she's a Doctor Who fan. Uh, one year I made her a Doctor Who cake for her birthday. Uh, it's a Dalek. Look, it's good, isn't it? It's good. It's crap, but it was fun to make. On which note, What's the strangest food you've ever eaten? I don't know. I, I can't think of anything strange that I've eaten ever. Like, ever. I've eaten things when I don't know what they are because I, I go to formal dinners sometimes at my university and I'm like, don't understand the menu. What is this thing? And I just eat it. So who knows? I could have eaten something really weird, but to the best of my knowledge, no. Tell us about your first gig. The first gig I ever went to was Hearsay. If you don't know who Hearsay are, they were the winners of Pop Stars, which was one of those reality TV shows that preceded The X Factor. And look, I was about seven, alright? I can possibly redeem myself by saying the first gig, or well, the first concert that I ever paid for myself to go to was to go and see um, Ramin Karim Lou and Carrie Hope Fletcher. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? I don't go to gigs. I'm not, I'm not really a concert person. Really. My sister dragged me to Reading this year and I, I posted a blog about it saying, well, we nearly died. What is your favourite place in the world? Oh, I'm really so, I'm so boring. Look at me. I'm going through all these like, I'm called Megan because I am and I haven't eaten anything strange and I don't go to concerts and now I'm going to tell you that my favourite place in the world is where I live half the year. That's rubbish, isn't it? But yeah, Oxford is just a lovely place to live and work. It's really beautiful and it's quite small and I can't ride a bike and I can't drive. And you'd be mad to drive in Oxford anyway so I can get everywhere. And it's where my friends are and it has theatres <laughs> where people come, like, you know, Carrie Hope Fletcher. So, I, yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely place. And why am I doing this? I'm so boring. I can make it a bit stranger by saying, a generalised favourite place to be uh, is graveyards. I like graveyards, they tend to be very pretty and peaceful and tranquil. They tend to make good places to write. Um, I've also filmed vlogs in graveyards. I'm lying on a park bench in the middle of a graveyard. And I just like hanging out in them. That's slightly less boring, but that's possibly weird now. So, uh, I'm really not creating a good impression of myself. Third favourite place is right here, my bed with Downton Abbey calendars and Doctor Who posters and my cat's over there. Do you want to see my cat? There she is. She's a bit camera shy. Oh, look at the camera. Do you? Do you? No. You don't, you don't like the camera. Fair enough, I'll get back to what I was doing. Who do you want to answer the survey next? Gemma, Sean and Katie. Okay, cool. YouTube survey complete. Hey, Jess, say goodbye. Yeah, that'll do.